Hey, this is Ronnie, Claire's Kitchen, Rock and Roll Fishing Show. Thank you for tuning in. What you got cooking today, baby? Well, today, Ronnie suggested I make shrimp and grits, and I said, that sounds great. Mm. So we're down here in South Louisiana, and you can't get more Southern than shrimp and grits. So I'm gonna show you how to make them, and at the end, I'm gonna show you how the presentation, and I'm gonna put a little twist on it. So first, we need to make the grits. We're going to boil two cups of chicken broth. We're gonna have two cups of milk with this. That goes into the pot. Also, a third a cup of butter and a teaspoon each of salt and pepper. Now this needs to come to a boil and at that point we're gonna slowly add the grits and some cheese and I'll show you how to do that. While it's coming to a boil, we're gonna get a skillet out and get ready to cook the shrimp. So what you need to do is chop up about eight slices of thick, thick cut bacon and go ahead and get that cooking. As this cooks out the grease is what you're going to use to cook the shrimp. So you're gonna reserve some of the oils that cooks out of this bacon. So while the bacon is frying up and the grits, the water and the milk and the butter is gonna start boiling, I'll show you how to put it all together after. We'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and the bacon fried up great. Remember, we needed to reserve four tablespoons of the oil from the bacon because that's what we're gonna use to cook our shrimp. Right now, the water and the chicken stock and the milk is boiling, ready to add the grits. So at this point, we're gonna turn it down and slowly add the grits and stir. After we get all the grits in here, they're gonna cook for about 12 minutes. In, a, in, a, in that amount of time, they're gonna thicken and we're gonna take them off the fire and add the cheese and keep them warm. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the rest of the grits in here, stir it up, and at this point, I'm gonna set my timer for 12 minutes because while we're doing that, I'm gonna show you how to cook the shrimp. Every now and then we'll come back to this pot and stir these grits a little bit till they get thick. Okay, we get our skillet ready for the shrimp on medium heat and we're gonna use the bacon grease that we drained from the bacon to cook the shrimp. So we're gonna go ahead and put that into the skillet at a medium high. Right here I have about a pound of Louisiana shrimp and that's what's gonna go into the grits. So we'll get this hot. We can go ahead and put the shrimp into the skillet. And to that, we're gonna add blackening seasoning or Cajun seasoning, whatever you like, about a tablespoon, okay? So I used blackening seasoning right here, about a tablespoon onto the shrimp. And about a teaspoon of chopped garlic. That's gonna go on there. All right, these shrimp are gonna cook up pretty quick, y'all. They're gonna turn pink, and that's when you know they're ready. Also, the bacon grease is gonna give it a great flavor. When we combine with the grits for the presentation at the end, I'll show you how everything's looking. So while these shrimp are cooking, and we're waiting for the grits to get thick, I got my timer on, that way I won't forget. I'm gonna show you my twist to this recipe because that's gonna give it a nice creative presentation at the end. So I buy these frozen hash brown patties at the grocery store. You just cook them according to the directions. They're gonna get real crispy, okay? So at the end, we're going to present the shrimp and the grits on top of the hash brown and I think that's gonna be a creative look and a better flavor. So as these grits are getting thick, the shrimp's cooking, 
and I'll be right back to show you how it looks. Wait. Those are not instant grits, by the way. You don't want to use instant grits. With this recipe, you need uncooked grits, um, white grits preferably. This is getting pretty thick. So the shrimp are cooked. We went ahead and turned that off. And I'm gonna show you what these hash browns look like. Nice and crispy, and that's what's gonna go on the bottom as we layer the dish for the presentation. So right now, I'm waiting for the grits to finish cooking. Then I'm gonna add the cheese and plate it up and show you guys what this is all about. All right, y'all, these grits are nice and creamy, ready to go. We're gonna turn the fire off on those. This is where you're gonna add the good stuff. A cup of cheese, shredded cheddar cheese. Stir that in there, it's gonna melt, it's gonna thicken the grits and give it an extra flavor. And we're gonna come over here and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so we got our grits, got the cheese, got the bacon, crispy, ready to go, and the shrimp are cooked and seasoned. And here are our hash brown patties. So let's see how this all looks on the plate when we get it together. So first, we're gonna put a hash brown patty on the bottom. This is my twist on this dish. I think it's creative and it looks better. I'm always talking about the presentation. So the next step is going to be these awesome grits right on top of the pack. I'm gonna scoop here. and a scoop here. Now, come back over here to your shrimp. Throw your bacon in and toss it up. You've got some seasoning and the bacon grease that you cook the shrimp in. You're gonna mix this all up. Love. The bacon is gonna have a little crisp that's gonna add something to, to your palate along with the crispy hash browns. So we're gonna come over here Let's put our shrimp and bacon bits right on top. Like this. And presentation, just a little bit of parsley. You could use chives, whatever. Just to make it look nice and give it a little extra flavor. All right guys, shrimp and grits. It's Southern Louisiana and this is what we're Did having you? today. So bon appetit and I'll see you next time. Okay, hey Ronnie, thank you for coming down, visiting, bringing the shrimp, and suggesting this wonderful recipe. Now let's give it a try and let me know what you think. Shrimp and grits, y'all. Mm -hmm. On a hash brown patty. That's the mm -hmm. twist to this dish. It's going to give it a crunch and a little special presentation. Ooh, I like two of these. This is well, this good. recipe makes four, so I think we got you covered, honey. Mmm, good. Mmm, mmm. Sauce bomb. Mmm, that's good. <laughs> it's good. All right, let me try let me it. Let try it. <laughs> good. <laughs> Perfect. Mm. Pretty good, huh? You like it? I like it. Very good. Cool. Very good. I love spice. Put a little bit of that on there and it's Bucky stuff. We stopped at Bucky's one time over to Florida and they had 250,000 spices. I grabbed a few, but this is my favorite. Really good. You don't have to put a whole lot. It's a little bit. It's got some seeds in it. I think that's what makes it have heat. But it's hot. I'll try this up. Mmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> maybe I need to put some ketchup on it too. Mayonnaise, maybe do the same. <laughs> what else y'all can think of? You wanna try it with hot sauce? Mm -hmm. I put a lot. You gonna try it? <laughs> fan cut off. That fan was going. Which fire? Very good. <laughs> the Bucky sauce is kind of sweet. Mm -hmm. Spicy. Mmm. Very good. Whoever thought of eating shrimp and grits together had mm -hmm. a great idea. Mmm. -hmm. Easy and quick to make. We're gonna, make, we're gonna make some red fish and dumplings. <laughs> mm -hmm. Never fish, know. Chicken pot pie. <laughs>